DRDO develops new armored vehicle WHAP for Indian Army. First Tejas MK Aka fighter jet to be delivered to Air Force by October end. The upgraded version of the indigenous light combat aircraft Tejas IE MK Aka is likely to be delivered to the Indian Air Force by the end of October. Well, here we will talk about these things and see why this is being said. Friends, today's video is going to be much more interesting and informative. That's why you will definitely share this video as much as possible and reach many people. So that more and more people will know about it. Apart from this, you are also requested to watch the video from beginning to end. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe. DRDO develops new armored vehicle WHAP for Indian Army. The Indian Army is taking trials of a new indigenous armored vehicle WHAP these days. It has been made by Mahindra Defense. Let's know about it. DRDO and Mahindra Defense have jointly created a new indigenous armored combat vehicle for the Indian Army. It is wheeled armored platform WHAP. Earlier, the Army had taken Atara warp vehicles manufactured by Tata. This time there is possibility that these combat vehicles will be taken in large quantities. That's why Mahindra's WHAP trial is going on. Mahindra Defense collaborates with DRDO to make world-class products. Develops them. It is the chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear CBRN, variant of the wheeled armored platform WHAP. It can participate in a variety of amphibious operations. Its design is compact. It has a chaser horsepower diesel engine. It can also operate at very high altitude places. New technology of security has been added to it. It can seat a total of Gyarah people with weapons. It can also work well at the height of the Himalayas. It is an Artex art-wheeled armored vehicle. Just the version is slightly changed. Soon it will be included in the army. Us there will be a remote operated machine gun. Its transmission is automatic. It can run at a maximum speed of Pachanve km HR on the road. Its range is a maximum of 500 km in the plains. Ballistic Stanag Do, Blast Stanag Ake have been installed to protect it. So that it can save soldiers from many types of enemy attacks. It will have a Saad Dashamlav Chedo MM RCWS IE remote controlled weapon station that is, heavy machine gun, which the soldier sitting inside the car will run with the remote. He does not need to get out and mark the enemy. It will also not endanger his life. It will also protect soldiers from chemical attacks like nerve, blister, blood, choking. It will also protect against biological attacks like bacteria, viruses, fungi and biotoxins. Will protect soldiers from gamma rays in radiation and nuclear attack. Its suspension is hydropneumatic. The CBRN detection kit will detect the attack from 2 km away. There is an automatic weather station inside the vehicle. Advanced land navigation system is installed. First Tejas MK Aka fighter jet to be delivered to Air Force by October end. The upgraded version of the indigenous light combat aircraft Tejas IE MK Aka is likely to be delivered to the Indian Air Force by the end of October. A few days ago, the Air Force had asked HAL to expedite their delivery. The Air Force has asked HAL to make Tirasi Tejas MK Aka fighter jets. Its first flight took place in March this year. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, can deliver its first light combat aircraft Tejas MK Aka to the Indian Air Force by the end of October. The first flight of this indigenous fighter aircraft has been done in March. Since then, its integration trials are going on. That is, it is being tested by applying different instruments and weapons. The Indian Air Force had ordered Tirasi Tejas MK Aka from HAL. It has been built at a cost of 48,000 rupee crore. With the arrival of Tejas, the old Miji series aircraft of the Air Force will be removed. The third squadron will be formed in Jodhpur, Rajasthan with the new Tejas. That is, Pakistan cannot dare to do any kind of thing. This fighter jet is the world's best light combat aircraft. 
let's know its specialties. The Tejas MK Aker fighter jet is equipped with Digital Fly-by-Wire Flight Control Computer DFCC. In simple language, it means removing manual flight controls from the fighter jet and installing an electronic interface. That is, the computer keeps the aircraft balanced according to the pilot while flying. With this system, radar, elevator, aileron, flaps and engine are controlled electronically. Fly-by-wire stabilize the fighter jet. It makes the aircraft safer. Tejas is equipped with state-of-the-art facilities. The upgraded version of the aircraft, Tejas MK-8, has advanced mission computer, high-performance capability digital flight control computer, DFCC MK-8, smart multifunction display, SMFD, advanced electronically scanned array, SA, radar, advanced self-protection jammer, electronic warfare suite, etc. This fighter jet is similar to Tejas MK-8, some things have been changed in it. For example, it has a state-of-the-art electronic warfare suite, excellent SR radar, self-protection jammer, radar warning receiver. Apart from this, ECM ports can also be installed from outside. Speed of 2200 km HR, combat range of 739 km. The Mark Aker is slightly lighter than the previous variant, but it is just as big in size. That is, length of 43.4 feet. Height of 14.5 feet. Can fly at a maximum speed of 2200 km HR. The combat range is 739 km. By the way, its ferry range is 10,000 km. This aircraft can go up to a maximum altitude of 50,000 feet. It has a total of no hard points. Apart from this, there is Thais mm twin barrel cannon. Hard points can place no different rockets, missiles, bombs. Or you can mix them. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe. Thanks.